What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode brought to you by the League FFB. Today, I got five keep trade cut scenarios uh, for you guys straight off of keep trade cuts website. Um, but I wanted to break them down, talk to you about my thoughts, my analysis behind those situations and uh, spark some conversation. I think these keep trade cut conversations are always good to have as Dynasty Fantasy Football Managers because uh, sometimes they just kind of ask you questions that you've never asked yourself before. They help you evaluate players and uh, kind of put evaluation on certain guys that you wouldn't compare to others directly. So uh, without further ado, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get right into the video and let's get right into the first keep trade cut situation. And the first one was uh, Garrett Wilson, uh, Amon Ross St. Brown, and Jalen Waddle. And so uh, what I ended up doing here is I ended up keeping Garrett Wilson, trading Jalen Waddle, and cutting Amon Ross St. Brown. And uh, the reason why I decided to do this, man, is I just think Garrett Wilson is an elite wide receiver, man. He's just coming off the rookie of the year uh, season. And I don't, not to slight any of these other guys, I think all of these guys are elite in their own regards. Um, but when it comes down to it, Garrett Wilson is a top five, probably a top, five top seven dynasty wide receiver in my eyes. Um, Jalen Waddle is somewhat close there, but I, I preferred Garrett Wilson as a talent. And then Amon Ra was just the odd man out. Um, I probably don't have him in my top 10 dynasty wide receivers right now. And I know some people probably aren't going to be happy with that, but that's just the way that it goes. So keeping Garrett Wilson, trading Jalen Waddle and cutting Amon Ra St. Brown. And uh, for the second situation, uh, and keep in mind, all of these situations are, I'm thinking from the mind of super flex PPR tight end premium. That is the uh, that is mainly how I play in most of my leagues. Um, that's kind of my favorite format, and that's the way that I'm thinking about it in these situations. So with that being said, the second one here is actually going to be uh, Saquon Barkley, Dak Prescott, and Stephon Diggs. And so uh, for this one, I am going to be keeping Dak Prescott, trading Stephon Diggs, and cutting Saquon Barkley. And... The reasoning behind this one for me is quarterback is the most important position to me. Um, I think Dak Prescott is a fringe top 10 dynasty quarterback still. Uh, I know he's a little bit older. I know there's some guys coming in. Um, right now, I think I have him as my quarterback 10 in my rankings. So if I can have a top 10 quarterback in super flex leagues, uh, I'm valuing that more than any other position in football. Um, I do think that Stephon Diggs is the second most valuable. That's why I decided to trade him. Um, so I am going to end up keeping Dak trading uh, Stefan and cutting Saquon. Uh, Stefan Diggs, I think there's still two to three. There's probably a two to three year window where he's going to give you top 15, top 20 numbers. Um, I think probably one or two of those years, he's going to give you top 10. Uh, he has a game that I think is going to age like wine. Uh, it's just going to be, it's going to be a good end of the career for Stefan Diggs. He's tied to Josh Allen. Um, he's the alpha number one wide receiver there. I'm not really, I don't really want to get rid of Stefan Diggs, but for the sake of the keep trade cut scenario, I will be trading him. And then uh, Saquon, he's a uh, he's a little bit he's approaching that RB uh, cliff. If not, he's already hitting it. Um, and so for me, you know, Saquon's a good talent, great guy, uh, all of that other stuff that you want on your uh, or great guy to have on your fantasy rosters. Um, I'm cutting him, man. He's the running back. He's the least valuable of those positions, and I think he has the shortest shelf life of all of those guys. So. Yeah, like I said, I'll be keeping Dak, trading Sa or S Stephon, and cutting Saquon. Um, so for my third scenario here, I actually have uh, Justin Herbert, Jamar Chase, and Joe Burrow. And for this one, I will be keeping Joe Burrow, trading Justin Herbert, and cutting Jamar Chase. And again, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm thinking from the super flex mindset. And to me, having I just talked about how having a top 10 guy was so valuable to me. Well, both of these guys, uh, Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert, both of those guys are top fives for me. So um, that's just even more important. Uh, Joe Burrow right now, he's my quarterback three in Dynasty Fantasy Football. Justin Herbert is my quarterback five. Uh, Jamar Chase, he's my wide receiver two in Dynasty Fantasy Football right now. But um, at the end of the day, I'm taking the quarterbacks over the wide receiver. That is why I will be cutting Jamar Chase. Um, and just purely based off of rankings, I have Joe number three, Justin number five. Um, that's why I'm keeping Joe and trading Justin Herbert. So that one was pretty simple. 
um, for me. Now I do have this one as well, which is going to be a Mari Cooper, Calvin Ridley, and Derrick Henry. And uh, I'm going to end up keeping Calvin Ridley, trading Amari Cooper, and cutting Derrick Henry. This is uh, this is a little bit more of an interesting one. This one was one that I kind of struggled with a tiny bit. And um, that's mainly because Ridley, Cooper, and uh, Derrick Henry, all of these guys are older in their careers. They're kind of towards the ends of their careers. Um, you know, Calvin Ridley is kind of a mystery wild card right now. Uh, cause he's had two years off at this point. Um, so you could say the body hasn't taken too much of a hit, but at the same time he hasn't played football. So, uh, ultimately it came down to this for me. Um, the wide receiver position, I think for both of these guys, Ridley and Cooper, they're going to have longer shelf lives, uh, than Derrick Henry. I think Derrick Henry, maybe this year can outscore both of them. And I say, maybe, I don't even know if he can, um, outscore both of them this year. But uh, that is why I'm going to be cutting Derrick Henry. I just think that when we talk about guys getting to the age cliff, uh, Derrick Henry is there. The usage has – he has miles and miles and miles on his body. Um, I just don't – I know some people have been predicting the fall of Derrick Henry for so long. And, um, you know, we've been wrong for a while, but he did get a later start to his career. You know, the miles didn't start tacking on until a little bit later than normal. So I think that's why he's held up so far, but – um, I just don't want to be caught holding the bag with Derrick Henry. Uh, if you can get, you know, if you can go get something significant for him, I say, why not? Uh, because I think eventually those miles, they do add up and, and we will see the fall of Derrick Henry. Um, whether it be this year or next, I don't know, but I think it's coming. It's on the horizon. So, uh, that is why I will be cutting Derrick Henry. And when it came down to deciding between Calvin Ridley and Amari Cooper, um, Ultimately, I want the guy who's tied to Trevor Lawrence uh, and is, you know, has a little bit less and I think more upside uh, or a little bit less mileage and, and more upside is what I would say for Calvin Ridley. Um, we've seen a, a very high ceiling for Calvin Ridley. Um, I know people forgot because it was a couple years ago, but there was a point in time where we were talking about Calvin Ridley uh, with the Atlanta Falcons as a top five dynasty wide receiver. Um, now he has probably arguably the most talented uh, quarterback of his career. And he's in a position where he could probably do the most damage he's ever done for fantasy football. So uh, I will be keeping Calvin Ridley and trading Amari Cooper because of that. And uh, last but not least for the situations that I have here or the scenarios that I have here today, uh, it's going to be Christian McCaffrey, Devonte Smith and Lamar Jackson. And ultimately I have decided to keep Lamar Jackson uh, again this comes down to the quarterback position being so valuable. Um, you know, I I don't love Lamar Jackson as a long-term dynasty asset. Uh, I think he's a game breaker for fantasy football when he does play. Um, you know, there's been injuries over the last two seasons where he's missed some time, he's missed some games, but ultimately, um, you know, he's playing the most valuable position and he is a game breaker when he plays. So I will be keeping Lamar Jackson because of that. Uh, and I decided to trade uh, Devontae Smith and cut CMC. Now, uh, Devonte Smith is a stud, and I, again, he's. A, this is one of those situations where I'm like, I do not want to trade Devonte Smith. Uh, I would much rather keep Devonte Smith. But if I have to make the decisions in in this specific scenario, I'm trading Devonte Smith. Um, pure route runner. You know, he's the one B in uh, Philadelphia, tied to Jalen Hurts for the next foreseeable future. Um, I think he's a fantasy stud. He's a guy you want to build your dynasty rosters around. But in this scenario, I'm keeping the quarterback over the wide receiver. Uh, and then I'm trading the wide receiver in, and cutting the running back. So that's why I will be cutting CMC again. Um, you know, we're t we've talked about a couple of them. You know, Saquon, Derrick Henry, CMC. These are older running backs uh, on our Dynasty Fantasy Football rosters that are still producing. They're still fine. Um, they're good assets. But I think when it comes down to it, um, we know what these guys are. They're short-term uh, shelf lives. They are are going to be good until they're not. And eventually the wheels fall off and they fall off quickly. Um, and, and that value depreciates fast. So uh, that's why I will be cutting CMC and uh, keeping the rest. So um, that is all I have for you today. That was my five uh, keep trade cut scenarios. Um, interested to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Um, tell me who you would keep, who you would trade, who you would cut in, you know, some of those situations or tell me where I got it right and where I got it wrong. Um, 
again, if you guys like this type of video, uh, I might, I might do a part two where we do five more or something like that. But, um, before you guys get out of here, go ahead and leave a like on the video, uh, leave a comment for me and, uh, you know, share it with your friends. Cause that's the best way you guys can help our content, uh, you know, get more eyes and help our channel grow. And at the end of the day, we're trying to help as many people win dynasty fantasy football championships as possible. And we can't do that without your guys' help growing. So, uh, do those things for me before you head out of here. And if you haven't joined the discord, uh, go join the free discord. It is linked in the, uh, YouTube banner. And it's also linked in the description. So, um, do those things for me. And if you guys are ever wanting to play some keep trade cut, uh, you know, the keep trade cut website does this for you. There's a little section where you can play this game. So go try it out, see where your valuations lie. And, uh, you know, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.